this is how we're running two wires. Travis has it down pretty good. It takes a little practice. But, uh, so he's kind of gotten used to it. And it's not really a hassle it used to be. Now here we already had the post set up because we just moved these sheep into this down the road into this other pasture and he had part of the fence up and then we drove him into the north side and and now that's what he's doing here he's putting the uh, but he says he can put the post in and unroll the wire and not really even get off the full weather So he's got these fairly well trained. There's still three or four, and we probably ought to just get rid of them that, that might jump over. But um, it's always the same ones, and well, it's just hard to catch them when they're out here like this. We'll have to identify them, and then we'll get them up when we get the whole herd up. So he's got this on the fourth notch from the bottom and then the sixth notch that you can see there. Um, so it's working the best for us anyway right now and probably it's just whatever you train him to but uh, that's what that's what he's doing. Had these all trained to and it's working pretty well. Now, you can see we've got quite a bit of grass here, and he's giving them, I don't know, this is a 450 or so use, and they'll have a couple of days worth maybe in here. Um, and there's an old dried up pond there, but we'll bring the water tank and the water trailer down here. And then we'll graze, that's Milo stubble over there. We we cut the Milo off of, we'll graze that while we're here too. So you can see there's a lot of grass here. We had grazed this once already this, well, I guess it's this summer. Um, these ewes had lambs on them then and you probably saw a video of us bringing them down here. Um, and it's grown back real well. Um, probably been, oh, let's say it could have been in July, so August, September. This is going towards the end of October, say 90 days since we've been on here, maybe, or, or 80, I'm not even sure. But uh, yeah, we're glad to have this grown back up, and this will give us several days of grazing. There's only Oh, 25 acres of this grass here probably. And then there's, um, well, there's 20 or 25 acres of the Milo stubble too. So, so we'll get a lot of good out of this here before winter hits. So maybe you can see this uh, cereal rye coming on. We had this flown on, I don't know, it must have been the first part of September, before we cut the Milo for sure. And uh, there's even, I didn't think we had enough moisture hardly even to sprout it, but uh, it's come up pretty good here. 
and these are the stalks we're going to graze. Now we're kind of wondering, well, do we let that grow and not graze the stalks for a while? But if we do that, we'll have to worry about our water freezing up. Um, there'll be some other problems, so it'll be a couple weeks before we get over on this, so we'll see what it looks like. But um, I guess if they don't pull it out of the ground, if they just bite it off, well, it'll still be there. It'll still come back. But we kind of need the the winter feed this year. That's for sure. We're everybody short on hay and have to feed earlier. Um, so we'll probably utilize all these stocks we can, and as soon as we can, they start to degrade a little bit too if it gets a lot of moisture or snow on them, but um, yeah, that's one good thing about the Milo. The Milo, it wasn't very good this year, it didn't make very good. Probably a half or a third of a crop just because of the dry weather. But we'll get probably that much use out of the, the forage here that's left. But we did get some rain, probably an inch and a half here the other day. And there's another chance late next week, so things might be changing. Well, I hope you got the rain in your all area, and uh, we'll keep you posted.